yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up, my brothers? How you feeling this week? You know what it is. What's up, bro? Everyone too. Welcome yeah. back to let's chop it up. Definitely. Yeah, let's do that with that. How they season. So how was, yeah. how was the week, brothers? How was your week, man? Kelvin, how was yours, man? My week was rough. My week was rough. What happened, and, man? Um, I have no water in my house. So it's not a bill thing. It's just a construction thing. And I had to stay at a hotel. And I, I bowed. It's the last ghetto hotel I'm staying at in my life. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just like, like I'm not going to say the chain. It's just one of those ghetto hotels, motels, or whatever it is. And all right, I, I get that it's COVID. So they like, we're not going to send a chambermaid to like change the sheets and things, you know, less stuff like that. I guess that's what it is. But the fact that the doors don't work, I got to pull them apart to get out get into the hotel. <laughs> then we had we had snow. So the lady was like, um, uh, you got to park in there at your own risk because we wasn't able to shovel out the, the driveway in the parking lot. I'm like, <laughs> if there's any other th- where you staying at the base motel? <laughs> <laughs> I'm over on Queens Boulevard, and it's a bad look. It's a bad look. I bow. Oh, you place. have you have one of those pros joints. Word up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He might Next be at to the, the strip Bristol. club. Word, yo. He might be at the Bristol. Yeah, the Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Because you said a chambermaid, you was waiting on the chambermaid. Yeah, that's my thought. That's my thought. <laughs> yeah, how like, you? Yeah, like, nah, she off right now. She furloughed. Chambermaid. <laughs> well, but other, other than that, y'all, I'm, I'm good. It's good to see the crew. Good to see everybody back together. A lot going on. What's up with you, fellas? Man. Yo, man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. You know what? I'm just, I'm just good. I'm just, I'm waiting. I'm just trying to wear the rest of this year out. I just want to hurry up and just see what's what's on the other side of things, oh, man. Yeah. But um, you know, it's been a tough one because um, you know, a lot of people, you know, you're finding out a lot about your friendships, you find out a lot about people who are around you, you know. Everybody's on social media now, even the ones, even me, you know what I mean? And um, you know, and and, and people are sharing a little maybe a little too much. You find out a lot about people's, you know, political leanings and you know, other things of that nature. So it's kind of like, man, you know, I got, you know, so some of it is disappointing, but I try not to get too much into it, but I'm thinking about it because I'm just, I'm just like, I'm, I just want to hurt and get to the other end of it. Uh, on a positive note though, uh, I did see, I did, uh, my son graduated basic training this week. Congratulations. Bro, Congratulations. man. I mean, this, you know, that's, I feel like that's the end of an odyssey. And uh, in the beginning of one era, in the beginning of his um of his of his new of his new you know um <clears throat> his new stage as far as manhood so i'm really happy for that and i also want to shout out um i got really happy today because i got on uh i got on the, the new york black latino meetup earlier yeah, on yeah, today yeah. so yeah. i just want to shout them out it's beautiful people positive everybody's there it's just beautiful people we we hang out we network uh we travel together and um and and, and, and we just chill and it was really nice to see everybody there that people I hadn't spoken to in a while. So um, uh, uh, maybe on the other end of this COVID, we can get back together again. And, and, nice. And, you know, Brother Rod, how was your week? Uh, my week was, it started off good. I started off a diet and I started working out, me and my wife. So we're going to be committed to it, trying to get ahead of the New Year's resolution. But uh, we had a bad day today. Um, me and my wife went out a little, did a little shopping and we lost my debit card. Went from one store. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is the funny thing. We went from one store to another, and I mean less than an hour. When I went into the second store, that's when I realized the card was gone. So I decided to go into my bank account, and guess what? They Somebody hit. had they hit me already. So whoever found the card hit me within a less than an hour. Wow. Four thousand dollars. Dang. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't Where know what it is. Up. Yeah, actually, I didn't lose the card. My 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 wife lost the card. You know, she's wow. she's no. T- I'm not. I'm, I don't know what it is with with debit cards with her, but she loses at least five debit cards a year. You know. Wow. One, t- <laughs> one time we was in the um in Manhattan, and we stopped at a light, and you know, um, homeless guy comes up to the car, and she has some change in the car in her car in a cup, so she decided to uh, give the change with the cup. To the homeless guy, and her debit card was in the cup and gave the card. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yo, yo, that's, oh my! 
It was like the yeah. Eddie Murphy movie. It's like the Eddie Murphy movie when he gave him the money and called water yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so, so in the famous in the famous words of Kelvin, the natives got me today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so let me ask you a question. Me. It's a little different with the um the debit card versus the credit card. Yeah, so that's how, right. how do they how do they cover it? There's a certain no, nah, it's all, the time. No, nah, it's all. So the thing is, like I, I went right into my account and somebody had had uh, charged a thousand dollars to a Venmo account. So like oh, I said, okay. the, the yeah. card wasn't even lost for an hour and they already set up a Venmo account and took a thousand dollars out. But I mean, it's all covered. They, they they put the money back into my account. I mean, it's not worried about it. They issued me a new card. So, wow. but the thing yo, is, it just goes to show you how fast these scammers work. Yo, you know, the, kid, yo the kids will say their pieces are hitting. Yo, yeah, you their pieces are hitting. <laughs> their pieces are hitting now. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But I'm glad you, nah, I'm you know, right. Yeah, at least you ain't, get, you ain't get no bull crap uh, bank uh, bank uh, company. So you got your money. Nah, back. nah, nah. I called. They took care of it right away, you know. So everything's all good. So now we up to six a year that my uh, – six cards a year that my wife loses. <laughs> you know? Go for the record. Now right, she's right. – pretty much in 2020, she broke a record. Now. I feel that. Don't be average. Don't be average. You know what it is? I guess she got tired of losing her card. So she said, you know what? I'm going to lose his card now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but other than oh, that, everything's good. I'm still blessed, and I, you know, happy to be here. Happy to see you, fellas. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. My, my week was okay. It was it was cool. It was just like uh, I feel for the parents of the online learning, man. You know, my some of the special needs with him having hit his zooms at the same time is kind of difficult because mm -hmm. he think every time I open up with his learning device, his well, my not, son has to speak with a, a iPad. So anytime we open up a learning uh, uh, tablet, anything like that, he thinks it's his zoom. So he's just jumping in there. Put his face in the camera, all kind of stuff. And people think it's cute, but they, I'm dying over here because he's over uh -huh. here. You know, you got to think about it. He might take his damn pants off and just be running around this joint. So it's like <laughs> difficult. So I, I commend all the parents in 2020 that did the online learning with special needs kids, uh, high functioning children, two or three kids. I I, I salute y'all. This is no, this was no joke, hard work yeah. this year, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I'm like Derek. We're ready to turn the page from that and, and yeah. you know, Go forward now. I will say this: be be careful because we said the same thing in 2019. You know, people the last couple of years, he was like, "Yeah, I can't wait. 2019 is over. 2020 <laughs> is my year." Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I ain't saying yeah. shit. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think you yeah. might. I think you might just be right, man. I think we yeah. might just get ready and just see whatever comes on the other side. I'm not gonna do that regardless, man. Random question. I always ask you a random question, and this time of year, it'll be apropos, even at this age. So when you was a kid. Most exciting gift you ever received as a kid. Mm. When I was a little kid, when you when you when you anticipated that one thing that you used to watch the commercials for everything. Apollo Probably. five speed bike. Apollo mm. five speed bike. Apollo five speed bike. Remember that? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Remember that. And you ready for this? I think I think maybe three months after getting it, somebody stole it. The natives. <laughs> I don't even know where you're at. It was the natives. <laughs> It was, the pre, it was the pre-native era. Yeah, yeah. Natives yeah. were just getting like. started. Wow. With that oh, little shift, hurt. with the shift in the middle. Remember the oh, shift in the middle? Right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yo, my, best gift, age. my best gift was this shirt. Yeah, that's a real good <laughs> shirt. That's a fly shirt. That's a fly shirt. All right, so I, you, I know what these was. Your favorite gift was like a, a black power fist or something as a kid. It might have been. It might have nah, been. Come on, D, give it to us. What was it? Did nah, my favorite, that? my favorite, my favorite gift, and my man Brad, I don't even know if he's on there, I think, was a racing track. Car racing track, though. I used to, I used to have one that used to jump over the three barrels. It was all, all right. Like, First of all, was, I'm with you on that. My, the, the problem was none of that joint worked when you got it home. Like they, they can't, my, my, <laughs> no. the thing I wanted was a racetrack called the Super Duper Double Looper. And I mean, <laughs> the joint would glow in the dark and they turn off the lights and they do a slow motion. On, you get that joint home, we go around the track, get to the curve and stop or fly off. But yo, that no. was what I wanted. All right, Derek, what is it? What's the deal? I don't know. I think I'm caught between two. Probably that uh, Stretch Armstrong. Oh, and, uh, yeah. remember that? And another one, it was called a System 7 gun. It was like with the big plastic gun. It had the little, you shoot it, had the little propeller <laughs> things that flying off. It had the little grenades on it. It was something, just, something nice, man. Google it sometimes. System so how did your parents do it? Was it one of those things where, what my parents used to do was regular wrapped gifts was there all December. 
Right. But the night, Christmas Eve, when you wake up on Christmas morning, the bikes or whatever would be assembled and it would be there and it would appear. Mm -hmm. And it was mm -hmm. kind of like this magical feeling yeah. or whatever. How, how yeah. was yours done? I would say it was yeah. definitely the same way. What we would yeah. do, with, I, although one night, one one, what they would do is we would go to sleep and all the gifts would be there. And then yeah. what would happen is my brother and I, man, we would just wake up in the middle of the night, man. And if we got up, whenever time we got up, as long as it was after 12, they'd be like, I right, have at it. You know what I mean? Oh. Wow, yeah. wow. Sometimes when I was little, I used to try to wake up and catch Santa Claus when I was little. I'd be like, I did, I too. <laughs> they were fine. They were fine. Until my father, to my father, to my father to said, yeah. I said, Pop, what happened to Cadillac? He said, he said, yo, he borrowed my Cadillac. You know what I mean? <laughs> my father drove the Cadillac. So that was his way of saying, yeah, I'm Santa Claus. You know what I mean? Uh, but, um, but, um, you know. Hey, De hey Derek, I'm going to go back to something you said earlier, a little while ago. We had the meetup group, uh, the people that hang out and everything. We did exchanging gifts, the secrets and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And the conversation came up. All right. and, and I pose this conversation to you about pedicures. I'm a person that gets <laughs> pedicures. I got big feet. I like my joints to be cleaned up. I got a little black toe. I like to make sure I keep it down, keep it like kind of light brown instead of black. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I want to make sure, like, I know you and, and Chris against pedicures. Me and my man Rod, <laughs> as the as the, as the uh, homophobic, so I'm fucking, no homo. <laughs> yeah. Right? Let's say pause for now. You're gonna pause, say pause or whatever. Yeah, we pause. go. We we have gone together to get pedicures. Pause. Yeah, yeah, that's a true story. That's true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And, you know right. what? What? What do you have against getting those done, brother? I don't have anything against them. I'm just not that fancy. That's all I'm saying. Like, do I deserve a pedicure? I don't know, brother. It's I not. Mean, it's I, not fancy. It's hygiene. Kelvin, do you get? <laughs> I have very good hygiene. I wash my feet. I wash my ass. <laughs> I wash all that, man. I just don't know. What I need. Uh, you know, pedicure, that's all, you know? Okay, okay, y'all don't take right. away past the pedicure. My man Derek giving his credentials. All right, check it out. Um, <laughs> Yo, you can't, you, know, you, can't, you can't walk around with your feet looking like Sasquatch. I'm with him, I'm with him. Now, I don't do them as regular, but I'm I'm with him, though. You know what I'm saying? Because if you put your socks on and it's called a fire or something, then you know, <laughs> you, you know. So, so. It's feet, man. It's feet. It's feet. It's feet. One no, of, it feels good though. It feels good to me. I like the the the, the treatment, the pampering. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That and a massage. You gotta try it, Derek. You gotta try it. You gotta. Try Christopher it. said he goes to the beach wearing sneakers. Like, does that? <laughs> How do you get out the water and jump in sneakers? Who does that? No, no, who does that? Yeah. I, my is all, I got this for y'all. This is what we gonna do. Yeah, because you don't, you don't get pedicures. His feet look crazy. There you go. So hygiene is washing the feet. Do you wash your no. feet? Do you wash your hands? No, 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 no. It's more than that. It's more than that. It's more than that. We gonna get you one to do on the show. Somebody, if you got a black business and you, and even though I heard a lot of people said that that a lot of the black um, manicurists don't want to do feet. That's what somebody told me. I don't know if that's real or not. Oh, really? But yeah, this li this lady was saying she got a black owned business and she she does nails and stuff. She's like it's hard to hire somebody. She's like a lot of black people don't want to do feet. And I don't know. I'm just saying that's what she said. But yo, that's, but that's real to, talk. Let's do real. this and have Derek do it on the show. His first ever. I don't, yo, I'm, I don't I'm know if I want to see that. Derek, Derek, I'm treating. I'm treating. I don't oh, know if I want to see that. No, no, no. no, 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 no. You, you gotta turn away from it. If you were discretion is advised. I just yeah I, yeah yeah. We can, you, don't know, you, know, you, know, you don't know what you're getting into. Look, yeah. You start looking down there, brother. You know I don't, I can't I, listen. I've never got a pedicure before. Yo, we how that. they look is how they look. You know what I mean? Yo, Derek can take off his shoes and everything go black. We we don't want to take that chance. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to take that chance. Yo, the guy just said he never had a pedicure. Can you imagine? Ever. What I don't know. Like? How, I don't know what that's gonna look like. But Derek, come on, bro. You got to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. Look, I'll do anything. I'll try to first and like each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you gotta, you know, you gotta get them back aligned. All right, well, you know, I'll try anything the first time. Yo, Scott said he, Scott said he don't want to see it on the show either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, we no, take like, a chance. I'm, I'm serious. Scott, I'm serious. I'm serious. And Derek, Derek, what you asked no, I'm, 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 Scott, Scott's like a brother to me. I'm treating Scott and Derek. Scott. And chicken wing at the same time. Oh, no, no. no. Yo, listen. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Yo, if no. chicken wing do it, I'll do it. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> chicken wing got crow feet. But he just has done it. Oh, he has done it. He has done it. Chicken wing. Oh, yeah? I, I, when he came home from prison, he, he, I mean, yo, he got his feet done. Right. Wow. I told him he can't get his feet done in jail. That, that can't get your braids nah. done. Can't braids done and can't get your feet done in jail. <laughs> Use well, your braids done. You sit between somebody's lap. That's, there's no, there's no girls, there's no girls in jail braiding hair. So if you get your hair braided in jail, 
you sit in between a man's lap getting your hair. <laughs> yeah. 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 So when guys come that. home from jail and their hair is braided, you, go, mm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely yeah, getting yeah. hair braided by a man. Yeah. Well, you know what? I wonder if it's complete silence going on at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't really know what you feel like. About. Really uncomfortable. Right. You, yeah, you know, and if you said this, like, this didn't happen. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, know. this didn't happen. Me and Rob went. It was so funny when we were we um, someplace getting a pedicure, and this lady was walking by. And me and Hillside Rob, Avenue. Avenue. Hillside, Hillside Avenue. That's right. We yeah. Hillside and, and toward the white side. Toward the white side. Yeah, and, white <laughs> we, 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 Like so. The, the lady saw us in there, two big dudes, and this was shoot, we was both working out this time. Yeah. And the lady came in and ran, like, Oh, can you guys stay right here? I'll be right back. Like, what's this white lady gonna do? Yeah, yeah. And she came back with I her husband. She was going to get the police. Yeah, I'm like, Yo, I was like, Yo, did we rob them? Like, so yeah. she, she came in with her husband, like, Tell him how cool it is. Tell yeah, him, yeah, begging yeah. us to tell him about the uh, pedicure. She was it's like, Look just, at these. She said, Look at these two guys. They're masculine. You don't have to be. <laughs> Feminine to get your feet done. She said, "Look like football players, and they're getting their feet done." All right, so let's take it here. Let's take it here. What if, if they have nobody available but a dude in there to do it? No, nah. I'm not getting not, and I'm not doing. No, no. I, listen, so, oh, so, no. This, this is where I stop it. I don't even get massages from dudes. You no. Let me explain something. I, 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 when I played sports, I hated when like I had uh, uh, injuries and stuff. That was the worst part. The dude got to stretch you out. I don't, I don't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, like uh. I, I've been, like I said, I've, I've been in the gym and, and and stuff like that, and I've been stretched by a guy. But I've never been. I never got a massage by a guy. I never got no pedicure by no guy. I never will. But um, you know, lifting your leg up and crossing it over, I'm I, I'm all right with that. A guy could do that, you know. But you know, because most of the trainers and stuff in the gym was men. You know what I'm saying? But. Nah, I'm not gonna let her do a massage. Yo, listen, Nikki got a good question. I'm gonna lie, Nikki. When I get my feet, I think it's my right foot. When I get that front, my foot scrub, it's ticklish. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, there's Man. one spot on my foot too that is, if they hit that I foot, take, foot I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna I'm stick a tickle. It's a lot of information being said right now. Hey, hey yeah, Derek, yeah. all right, share it. Share it. It's another thing. I'm gonna ask you another thing. You said you want some metrosexual shit right now. Yeah, yeah. Manscaping. Huh? <laughs> Manscaping. Do you guys manscape? Let me start by saying I'm uncomfortable. You, know, you right don't know what it is. <laughs> Look, you don't even know what it is. <laughs> Derek, you know what it is? Derek's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> you, you, any, don't man, any, you don't manscape? Any brothers in the audience that manscape? I'm one of okay, them. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. I got, <laughs> listen, because our ratings are so high, we <laughs> right now are going to have Derek and Casper that walk by get a pedicure at the same time. <laughs> right, and you know, Scott, the, the underground railroad. <laughs> Yo, Scott, what is manscaping? <laughs> Scott is riding tonight, man. Nah, 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 the thing is, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see if he knows what it is. I trimmed my beard. <laughs> that's it. Oh. Yo, he has a big beard, man. He has a big beard. Okay, he's listen, saying listen. that's all he trims. <laughs> he don't manscape. So the thing all is, right. All right, be honest with you. All right, so I'm I'm with it. It's just it. it it wasn't always that way. It started later. It's probably like a, a late '90s, yeah, early 2000s thing for me. Before I thought you had to go, you know, natural from the old school, from the motherland. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, the black, uh, black porno did it. It's, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's, ne <laughs> it's necessary. It's, it's, it's necessary. But look, yeah, look, 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 look at the women. Look at the look, look, look at the women. Look at, the, women the ladies are like, cut it down, cut it That's down. Right. Cut it down. It, That's right. You don't, so want, right, you do you want to see a woman that doesn't make, that doesn't woman skate? Now, no, that's, that's the debate. Yeah, stop it, stop okay, it. Okay, so, we're going to no, no, stop no, no. it right now. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that is the debate. That is the debate. Now, I wanna, I've always uh, been curious about this. When we were kids, so back in the day, the magazines, Playboy and stuff like that, women was, you know, I think early in the 70s, it was, you know, a forest. Yeah, yeah. After that, it was came some type of landed strip. Very nigga. Now it's like a no, like women completely shave, and um, it's so different than you know people were used to. So, and, and women that I speak to say they'll never go back to those days. So, what do you think? I uh, think I took the conversation left. First of all, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't we all over here now. Man. Yeah, no, I, don't, I, think, I don't think. Go ahead, go ahead, No, go ahead, go ahead, D. You can go. I don't go think ahead. women are gonna go back to it because I think also besides just being like the cleanliness of it, they like it. 
I think it just makes them like it's a day. It's like a day they have. It's like um, therapeutic. They get that done. They get the Brazilian done. Uh, they might like McCole says they might get a uh, uh, land landing strip. You know, and uh, and women for guys getting it done. You know, women don't want all that hair. That, you know, when you get a little fellatio. You don't want all that hair. When you, when you have the little congolingus going on, you don't want all that in your teeth. I'm not coming there to floss my teeth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the thing is, the, the thing is, too, you just dropped out. Yeah. Here. You know that <laughs> with all that Let's hair. Let's that now, man. I had nothing. Listen, I was chill. I was cool. <laughs> with all that hair and you perspire in the summer, it's not yeah. good. Yeah. Up. So the bottom hey, man, line hold is, on, it, hold it, on, hold on. Now y'all trying to disrespect the whole generation of women that came before. Now come no, on, I'm talking, about, men, I'm I'm talking, talking about, about the men. They go, men, they yo, smell like hot oh, dog yeah. water down there. Correct, <laughs> correct, 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 <laughs> correct. <laughs> correct. Felt smell like a freaking fish tank too. But hold on, not. I, hey, hey, Dan, I got some. So I just no, don't say that. Don't say that. Yo, listen. I got the Apollo Creed seven. I can't get rid of this. This soon as I know if it comes right back, man. It's hard. Yeah. Wow. He got the he got the permanent he got permanent taco meat. Taco wow. meat for real, man. Yeah. Listen, I got my Africans DNA. I'm 91% African, brother. So I, it's all. <laughs> but my hair on my back is straight. I'm like, like I'm like, it's bugged out. Now we keep it real on this show. We keep it real. No, Danny, you can't say that generation was musty. They were musty. Think about the clones. Look at the old generation. Look at the clones. Look at the clones back there. We had London Fog. That's just like trash. Yeah, yeah. Joe Van, Joe Van Musk, Old Spice. Oh my, yeah, all that shit that's hot. That shit, that aqua velvet. That shit was hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard, but it was musty. Oh, it must be back in the day. Word up. It must be back. Well, that's something strong. All right. So to be clear with the women, y'all just not going back to the hair at all. Like, that's it. It's a wrap. They shouldn't. And they shouldn't. One of my friends, she always tell me that. Really? I look at you different now, Rodney. All right. So that's how it is. I just think men, the same way women and men wear their hair differently. Maybe, you know, you know, on their head, you know. Maybe she feel a little different. But don't like the dudes with their beard. Just shadow it, right? Nothing. <laughs> what? Oh, what you mean my beard? <laughs> I'm just no, not no, the beard. No, I was no, using no. a metaphor. No, no what no, I'm no, saying no. is at the at the end of the day, I just it's amazing how things change. But when we were kids, and you look in those magazines, that's what you <laughs> saw, and that represented an adult woman. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was back yeah, then, yeah. like you said. Yeah. That was like in the was 70s and the 80s. Yeah, yeah, now, you, know, know, you don't see that no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I, see that no more. That got you know. When you know better, you do better. So you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>